Tonight, you and I are in a minister's office, somewhere in Texas. We're chatting before I go out to speak to the waiting crowd. You don't like these steepled, echoing rooms. You come with me anyway. You sit in the front pew and listen to me talk about God and the hunches I have about her. You think I'm wrong to believe there's a God, but it's what you love and need me for. You borrow my faith like we borrow our next door neighbor's Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> this minister said something that made you feel safe. You looked down at your hands. You said, I don't feel comfortable in churches. When I was little, I knew I was gay. I had to choose church, my mom and God, or myself. I chose myself. <coughs> Damn right, the minister said. She cleared her throat. I smiled at her, but damn right wasn't exactly it. I turned to you, touched your hand. I said, babe, wait. Yes, when you were little, your heart turned away from the church in order to protect itself. You remained whole instead of letting them dismember you. You held on to who you were born to be instead of contorting yourself into who they told you to be. You stayed true to yourself instead of abandoning yourself. When you shut down your heart to that church, you did it to protect God in you. You did it to keep your wild. You thought that decision made you bad, but that decision made you holy. Abby, what I'm trying to say is that when you were very little, you did not choose yourself instead of God and church. You chose yourself and God instead of church. When you chose yourself, you chose God. When you walked away from church, you took God with you. God is in you. And tonight, you, me, and God, we're just visiting church. We three came back for a visit to offer the folks here hope by telling stories about brave people like you who fight their whole lives to stay as whole and free as God made them. When we're done tonight, you and I will go, and God will go with us. I thought you looked at me every way possible, but now, the way you look at me in this minister's office is new. Eyes wide, watery and red, the minister disappeared when you looked at me like that. Just you, me, and God there. Wow, he said. It was like that time your G necklace got a knot in it. You stood there by the bed, grumbling, threatening to throw it away. I asked you for the chain, held it in my hand, almost invisible, delicate white gold, impossible. You left. I kept at it for a while, impressing myself with my patience. And then, one tug in the right place, it all came kind of back. You walked back into our room. I held it up. Wow. Wow, you said. You bent down, and I clasped it back around you. I kissed your cheek. May we lay more elegant ideas around our children's necks.